My name is Myra, I am 24, and I am a adult entertainer. Hi. <laughs> All right, All right, so what? Okay. A lot of you have mental illness, and you need to get it checked out. When I hear people say they finally got into therapy when they actually need an exorcism. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to today's therapy session today we're checking out pop the balloon or find something let's see how this one goes all right let's bring our next single woman hi hello <laughs> hey what's your name age occupation my name is Myra, I am 24, and I am a adult entertainer. Uh, I thought my jokes were bad. That's super thick right there, that's not just thick right there, that's super thick. Uh, what? <laughs> adult entertainer. Uh, Alright, okay. Alright, so what are, what are, <laughs> whoa, everybody, okay, it seems like they all popped the balloon. I can't, I can't really see myself doing that. What are a deal breaker of yours? Someone with no motivation, emotionally unaware, mm -hmm. who doesn't have the mental capacity, doesn't have a thirst for learning, for traveling, mm -hmm. for basically being a well-rounded cultural person. <laughs> you serious? Okay, so, so what do you subscribe to and what's your belief in 50-50? If we're talking about 50-50, we need to be talking about 50-50 in all aspects of the household, okay. not just the financial aspect. Okay. Um, if you're expecting me to take up the pure responsibility of cooking, cleaning, if we have children, mothering, then I'm not working. Sure, I have done it. Or if there's like times in our lives, like maybe you're transferring jobs or you're trying to start a new business understand there's ups and downs uh -huh. but in order for that to even happen we need to have a foundation in that relationship i'm okay. not going to meet someone to be like yeah let's go 50 50 absolutely not okay all right let's move down figure out why they all popped the balloon hey um can you introduce yourself name age occupation and um why you popped your balloon hi my name is deji i'm 26 uh, i work a nine to five i'm also an artist um the reason i popped my balloon is um the weave. I just, I'm just not a big fan of weave in general. Okay. Yeah, that's really it. Can I get a spin note? You popped your balloon. You're right. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> You're right. You say what? You want another balloon? Yeah, let me get another balloon. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll give her, give him another balloon. If weave bothers you, either you're anti-black or you're a misogynist. And this right here, gentlemen, is why you need sessions like these. In 2024, men no longer are allowed the privilege of having personal preferences. If you don't like her weave, you are misogynist and you should go down. Sadly, this is just the beginning of the craziness. Weave doesn't bother me. I just don't like weave on the girl that I'm going to be married. The reason why black women started wearing weaves is because we couldn't get jobs. The reason why black women started wearing weaves is because we couldn't get jobs. Uh, what the fuck? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. In 2017, I had to wear a wig or I can't get a job. It's really disappointing that my own black man can understand why weave for women is a survival tactic. Madness. Still doesn't doesn't change the fact that um, I just don't like it, and that's just that. She was talking about how um, oh, black women um, then weren't able to get jobs unless they had wigs on and weaves on or something like that. Make that make sense for me. Because what do you mean? There's a lot of black women out here rocking their natural, natural hair with professional jobs. So what are you really talking about? And your weave look crazy. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm looking at you and I could see the scalp of your head or I could see like, like what makes you think I want that? Like, come on. Like when you come out, at least look at yourself in the mirror first and then come out. Come on, bro. That was not it. Uh, my name's Chen. I'm 24 mm -hmm. and I'm a model slash educator. 
And the reason I popped my balloon is because you said you do adult entertainment. I do all types of entertainment. So like OnlyFans and shit? Yeah, I do OnlyFans. Uh, I've done a couple of collabs with some porn stars. Oh, wow. um, and um, I'm also a stripper and a bartender. Mm -hmm. I don't got nothing wrong with like how you make your, your money and everything. It's just my preference. I wouldn't want my woman to be out there, you know. Even if I wasn't an adult entertainer, I'm not a virgin. So it's very highly possible that you can probably meet someone that has had one entanglement with me. And I feel like we shouldn't put so much focus into this idea of purity and untouched and me being the only one. It's 2024. We should ha be a little bit, not necessarily open-minded, but educated about sex, sexuality, um, and relationships. Unless you're dating a virgin, there's gonna be someone that fucked your bitch, so. You know that I'm telling the truth. I don't know what she said, something about women purifying you. Not everybody's gonna be a virgin or something that somebody messed with my girl. I don't even have a girl, so I don't know what she meant by that, but having adult entertainment as a partner, yeah, it's not, it's not cool. With me. Shane, aka Champion Boy, and um, I'm a project manager and I'm 33. Okay. And why I pop, can't have my girl, you know what I mean, having a digital footprint, being mad dude smashing and all that. No way. And can I ask, why did you choose to, to be an adult entertainer? Oh, well, because I'm a black woman from the hood, so I've been sexualized since birth. So I might as well capitalize off of it. So when I was growing up, coloring books, riding my bike, I've had men your age trying to holler at me. Have you ever been to therapy? Of course. <laughs> but oh, wow. you had to think I'm about it. I'm guessing therapy didn't work. <laughs> I'm guessing it. therapy didn't work. Therapy does work, and if you actually do something, you will understand why you can heal yourself and how someone can have self-respect. I mean, you seem like a pretty intelligent girl. I feel like you could have took a different route. Uh, and she's trying to convince me like what she does is okay. I could literally see that she needs therapy. I don't know why she think any man in their right mind will be okay with what she does for a living or whatever. All right, your name, age, occupation, and why you still have your balloon on? I'm 24, I'm a mechanic, and I like what I see, you know? I just want to know, like, what you're looking for? Honestly, I'm looking for someone who can match me brains for brains, who can match my vibe, who can match my energy and my spirit. I'm a very intellectual young woman. Just because I choose to reclaim my sexual identity doesn't make me any less of a valuable partner or person. So what, do you, what, what are you going to do if you do find what you're looking for? Like, would you stop, like, the sexual entertainment and all that, or...? Like, if you do, like, fuck with the nigga, you know what I mean? Well, if you're gonna replace my funds, of course. I don't really care about salary, uh, honestly. If you could afford dates and you could afford your bills, I don't care. <laughs> um, but, like, how, how do you view women? How do you view a relationship? Are you looking for something casual or... No, I told you, I'm looking for something fun. If it's some, if it gets service, then, you know, Absolutely. then we see from there, but okay. just fun vibes, you know? Okay. All right. Can I can I bring both of y'all yeah, sure. right here? All right. Y'all can stand next to me. Y'all can stand next to me. All right. Oh. Let's see if this is a potential. You have a question? I don't know if this is a deal breaker, but I'm polyamorous. Polyamorous? Nah, we not doing that. We not doing that, man. I. That means that I love men, I love women, and I love. I have multiple partners. Damn. So you wait, wait, wait. You're in a relationship right now? Yes. Something? I have a primary partner. Okay, so uh, um, so, so you, ha you have a primary partner and you're looking for a secondary, secondary partner. partner? Yes. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, Myra, yeah, she said she had a whole nother guy, you feel me? I guess he not doing the job right. She looking for somebody else, you feel me? I'm not with that. If, if there was another female, yeah, why not, you feel me? I'll get down if there's another nigga, I can't, I can't help you with that. <laughs> He's not doing his job right, that's why you want something more? Like, I can help you with that, you feel me? I can take it. I love myself more than I will love anyone else. So I have so much love in my heart that I can love multiple people. And this is how far we have come in modern day society. We are expected to believe this. This comment shows that therapy is needed. But let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Please go ahead. Remember to click that like, click that subscribe, and the comments. I know you need therapy. Have you had therapy before? You definitely need therapy. A lot of you have mental illness. Then you need to get it checked out.